Hello, friends. This is Robin. And gosh, I'm thrilled to be able to offer you a practice today. Um, <clears throat> I thought that the focus today would be about grounding and rooting, and rooting in order to rise. So finding our ground so that we can open our channels for action and spread our wings from our hearts. So spread our hearts out into the world. So go ahead and take a seat to begin, a comfortable seat where you can begin to connect to the earth. So feel your pelvis and your legs and your feet, perhaps your sitting bones of your pelvis, grounding down. Imagine you are growing roots into the earth. The earth is becoming softer right now as we come towards summer. So see if you can really find a soft rooting. Let's take a gentle stir through the pelvis, through the dark low belly, stirring in a circle, supporting this sense of rooting. And as you come into the awareness of this circle more, let your breath come into its movement, any way that feels right. And your circle might be very slow or small, or it might be very big. Just make it your own, circling in one direction, and then when you feel ready, circling in the other direction. Really finding our roots and allowing our breath to be part of that searching for the rooting into the earth. And on your next exhale, come to center. And just breathe in through the central channel of your body. Imagine you had a puppet string right in the crown of your head and it was pulling up as well as down. So go ahead and find your root and then allow your central channel to come alive within you, rising. Breathing now again into the pelvis, now into the low belly. <sighs> now into the mid belly. The area just under your rib cage, take a breath there, bring some awareness and aliveness there. <sighs> Breathing some awareness into your heart space. Expanding through your lungs and your chest, front, sides, and back. Breathing into your throat center. Breathing up between your brows, your third eye center. And then breathing right out the crown of the head, rising, rising, rising. Feeling your root and feeling your rise. Mm. Open your mouth and let out a sound, ha. Stick out your tongue, wiggle around your jaw. <sighs> and then let's reach the arms out wide and high and clasp the fingers and draw the palms to the sky. And again, find your ground and find the openness through the arms, through the armpits, through the sidelines of the body. Breathing into your fullness. Take a big breath here, inhale. Exhale, press down. Inhale, reach arms wide and high, rise. Exhale, palms press down and ground. Inhale, open wide, reach high. Exhale, press down and ground. One last, just reach up wide and high. Again, interlace fingers, switch the clasp, draw the palms to the sky, big breath in. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches across. Take a side stretch to that whole right side body. And then take a big wide circle with your right arm. <sighs> Follow it with your eyes. 
staying connected to your movement, circling in the other direction with that right arm. <sighs> and then come on back up, reach both arms high, and exhale off to the other side, right hand comes down, side stretch to the left, Mm, and then coming into that big wide circle, following with your eyes. Getting creative with your circle, it could be big or smaller. <sighs> Circling in the other direction. Noticing how this affects your breath, this movement. <sighs> and then reach both arms high, big breath in. Exhale, gather the hands right down to the heart center. Pausing there. Take a moment to form an intention for this practice for you. I offer you the gift of rooting and rising and spreading your wings today. Hands come down to the floor and just walk it out to a forward fold to your degree. Maybe your head touches the floor. Maybe it hangs in space, but just bow and surrender your head down. And let be what will be. Spreading the back body now and bowing the head. Transitioning from here to a child pose. So feet come to the floor and knees come wide and just keep spreading long and bowing your head and dropping your forehead down toward the earth, opening the palms like sun rays. Taking a big breath into the back of the body. Let's rise on up and take some cats and cows. Inhale, lifting chin, chest, eyes, tail. And then exhale, rounding and bowing the head and drawing the belly in strong behind your center. And inhale, open, expand. Exhale, draw back in, root back in to your center. A few more, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, simple as finding breath and movement. One more, inhale it, and exhale it. Come on back to a plank pose, stretching your heels back, drawing the crown of your head and your heart forward, legs strong and supported. And just breathe. Again, feel your strength. Feel your softness in this as well. We'll stay for five breaths. Rooting. Breathing. Drawing back into center. One more breath. And we'll press it back down. We're facing dog. And just walk this out. Walk your dog. Paw with your palms. Ah, and the sense of softening as you're opening, as you're rooting. Let your shoulders sway a little. Nod your head yes. And notice what you're saying yes to these days. And shake your head up no. And notice what you're saying no to these days. And allow all that to be. Walk your feet together now. Draw your heels to or toward the floor. Spread your palms forward. Lift your kneecaps and your thigh muscles. Pull your sitting bones high, high, high to the sky. Let's reach the right leg on up and circle out your right ankle. Circle it in both directions. Oh, lift it higher, 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 and bend the knee and roll your hip open. Big breath in. And exhale, root in, draw in knee to nose. Inhale, reach high, lift it on up. Exhale, squeeze in, knee to nose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, root, knee to nose. One more, inhale, rise it. And this time, step your right foot forward. And let's dip our hips deep and reach the arms back and lift the chest. Big breath in. Exhale, hands plant, pull back through the hips. Pyramid pose. Lift the right toes. We'll take that a couple times. Inhale, lift heart, reach the arms back. Lift it on up, lift the gaze. 
Exhale, hands to plant, pull your hips back, bow, lift your five toes. Inhale, rise. Exhale, plug back in, root. One more. Inhale, rise it on up. Exhale, root it on down. And then bend your right knee and come on the ball of the right, on the left foot. Left hand stays down, right hand comes to the sacrum at the very base of your spine. And just take your palm and rub there. And as you're doing that twist to the right, turning your heart up to the sky, eventually reaching your right arm skyward, open this up and take that big wide windmill circle once again. And follow with your eyes. And imagine this was your wing. And just let your wings spread and open and get fluffy and full. And then reach your right arm forward and pull back through the left heel. Open the heart, take a breath. Exhale, hands plant, standing split. Left leg flows to the sky, head drops heavy. And breathe and bow and surrender. And reach back in for three. Lifting the leg higher, two. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, step back strong, high plank and pause it there and come back to that strong rooting, five breaths. Heels draw back, crown of head and heart forward, legs firm and strong. What are you strengthening? What are you softening? Draw the shoulders away from the ears, let your head go easy, side to side, one more breath. Pull back through your hips, lift the hips high, nod your head yes, and shake it out no. Walk your feet together, lift your kneecaps and thighs, pull back and up through your hips, and just breathe. Lift your left leg high to the sky, circle out that left ankle, opening up the joints. Setting any extra energy out free into the world. Ah, reach it on up, big breath in. And exhale, round it in, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, open. Exhale, return. Inhale, reach it on up. Exhale, step left foot forward this time. Staying on the ball of the right foot, rise on up, open the heart. Feel your wings reaching back. And exhale, hands plant, pull back through the hips. Fold, return. Inhale, rise. Lift the heart. Spread your wings behind you. Exhale, plant, pyramid pose, pull your hips back, ground. Lift your five toes of the left foot. Inhale, rise. Exhale, ground. Lifting five toes of left foot, pulling back hips. One more. Rise it on up, flow, grace. Exhale, pull back. Left knee bends, stay on the ball of the right foot. Right hand stays to the earth. Left hand comes to sacrum and spin toward the left. Turn your heart to the sky. Let the hand at the sacrum pull your pelvis back toward your back heel. A sense of plugging back in to your, your back foot. Launch your left arm high to the sky as you're ready and big wide circle with that left arm. Following with your eyes. Spreading your left wing, fluffing up your left wing. <sighs> keeping the heart really fluid and healthy. Mm. One more breath. Hands plant, let's fly into standing split, right leg flows to the sky, head drops heavy. Ah. Feel the courage it takes to rise from the rooting. Take two more breaths. And then step your right foot forward to meet your left and bow into a ragdoll pose. Knees can be as bent as you like. 
Really let your head drop heavy. And let yourself come into the experience of feeling, feeling your body, honoring what's here today. If you like, take opposite hand to opposite elbow and really let the shoulders drop toward the earth as the head is doing. Where are you rooted and where are you rising? Hands come to back of head and hair. Give a tug, a pull, a massage. Free up that stuck energy that may be present in your skull, your scalp. Give yourself a little shampoo. Woo, pull your ears and massage your temples and your jaw around your face and your shoulders and your neck. And then return the hands toward the earth. Toe heel your feet together. Bend your knees and gently, gently roll your way up to standing. Reach your arms out wide and high. Take your right hand to your left wrist and pull yourself into a side bend. Rooting through the right foot and rising and lengthening through the left fingertips. And then come back to center and left hand takes right wrist. Go ahead, side bend to the other side. Mm, rooting through the right foot, reaching through the right fingertips. And then come back to center and draw your hands down into that goddess shape, the goalpost arms, and lift your heart high and lift your throat and really let your energy soar and blossom and open. Reach your arms up, big breath in. Exhale, fold, swan dive forward. Knees might bend to get you there. Inhale, reach out, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step back, strong high plank. And let's come to all the way to the floor. Interlace the fingers and lift the heart. Draw back through the legs and lift the thighs, lift the legs. And just breathe here and reach through the heart. Draw back through those arms, those big wild wings of yours. And let's roll to the left and reach the right leg back behind and turn the heart to the sky just for, for a heartbeat. And then we'll come back to center and take it on over to the other side, rolling to the right, reaching the left leg back behind you, turning the heart up to the sun. Let's come back to center, feet to the floor, hands, forearms to the floor for Sphinx pose. Broaden through the heart space, ground and lengthen through the legs. Feel the bottom part of your body rooting and the upper part of your body rising. And let's, as a matter of fact, straighten the arms and lift the heart and rise and bloom. Taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, come on down, high plank. And your next exhale, downward facing dog. Reaching your right leg high to the sky, breath in. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Rise on up, inhale. Exhale, fold back down, high plank. This time, Chaturanga, just hovering, low push up. Inhale, blooming the heart, up dog, rise. Exhale, down dog, root. Inhale, left leg flows to the sky, breath in. Exhale, step forward, warrior one, rise. Open. Exhale, return. Step back, high push push up. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog, open. Exhale, downward facing dog, ground. Take a breath in and a smooth breath out. Bend your knees, look forward. Spring step or float to the front. Lift and lengthen, belly to spine, reach. Exhale, fold, return, bow. Inhale, we rise to standing. Right hand takes left wrist, side bend. Other side, left hand takes right wrist, side bend. Inhale, back to center. Elbows drop, heart lifts. Reach the arms high, really open up, lean back. Take your full back bend. Exhale, swan dive forward. 
Inhale, reach out, lift and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, step back, strong high plank, pause. Right hand comes under nose for side plank. Left arm flows to the sky, open up. Imagine you had a magic wand in your left hand and if you could wave it around, what would you love to manifest today? Take a breath there, see the goal. Come on back, high plank, pause. Reconnect, ground. Left hand comes straight under the nose and right arm flows to the sky, side plank. Left knee can always come down, but hold your magic wand in your right hand and really charge yourself up with energy. Flow, lift, return, high plank. Chaturanga, if you dare, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, right leg flows to the sky, rather breath in, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Reach on up. Let's flow wide, warrior two. And let's reverse that warrior and float that right magic wand in the right hand to the sky. Lean back, open up, big breath in. Exhale, side angle lunge, breath out. Right elbow to thigh. Left arm extends over your ear. And take that big wide circle. <sighs> Follow it with your eyes, circling in both directions. Feeling your legs rooted and feeling the openness of the heart space. As a matter of fact, let's open it up further, wrapping your left arm around your back for a half bind. Spread open your heart. <sighs> Feel the turning and churning through the belly, through the ribs, and through the heart as you stay rooted and strong through the legs. Feel the fullness of the pose, the root, the rise, the openness, the spread of your wings. And then let's return to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, just straightening out your right leg this time. And exhale, full low on out, high plank. Making your way through vinyasa, you can head straight to down dog if you prefer, or go through the whole vinyasa. Leaning back and downward dog, take a breath in and a breath out. Left leg flows to the sky. Exhale, step forward, warrior one, breath in. Exhale, open wide, warrior two, breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Open the left fingertips. And land in your side angle, left elbow to thigh, right arm extends, and then take a big wide circle. So find your root, find your connection, plug into the earth with your feet and your legs, and find this spread open through the heart as you reach the arm around your body, follow with your eyes. And as you're ready, land with the right arm round the back for a half bind. Really blossoming your heart open. What's there? How does the rooting support your opening? Take two breaths into this exploration. Where else could you root? And where else could you rise? Take one more breath. Let's return to high plank. Find your way, low push up. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Take a breath in and take a sigh out. One more breath in. One more exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or jump to the front. Inhale, full lap back, and exhale, bow and fold. And just pause there for a couple of extra breaths. <sighs> Take your fingers to your big toes and pull in. Bowing down, maybe the knees want to bend. How can you soften into this? What can you let go of in this moment?
deepening your breath, really opening up into more connection to the internal spaces of your body, rooting within, blooming and opening within. Take one more breath, sigh it out. Toe heel your feet together, bend your knees and roll your way up to standing and land in the Utkatasana. So bend your knees, drop your hips and rise your fingertips high. Root your shoulder blades and root your heels. Fly up through the heart and the fingertips. Root a little more deeply through the hips and the shoulders. Take right hand to left wrist and take a side bend. And take left hand to right wrist and side bend. And then come on back through center and bend the elbows and lift the heart and lift the gaze. And then reach the arms high, sink the hips a little lower, reach a little higher, breath in. Fold forward, breath out. Inhale, reach strong, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, pause. Side plank, right hand comes under the nose. Launch your magic wand to the sky with the left hand. And then come on back through center. Reconnect. Left hand comes under nose, side plank. Right arm flows to the sky. Come on back, high plank. Finding your way back to downward dog, maybe through the whole vinyasa. Maybe you head straight on back. Right leg flows to the sky, breath in. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, clasp hands behind and lift the heart. Sink through the hips, lift through the heart. Sink through the hips, lift through the heart. Sink through the hips, and then fold, bow. Go ahead and bury your head in the sand. Ground through the top of the head and rise through the arms. Further rooting through the legs so those arms can blossom skyward, rising on up. Reaching forward toward the front of the room with those hands, arms. Take one more breath. And find your way back to warrior one. Open wide, warrior two. Give a little shimmy out to the shoulders. Free up some energy, create some space. Inhale, reverse warrior. This time straightening the right leg. And wrap your left arm around the back if that feels okay for you. And hinge into tree konasana, triangle pose. Right hand reaching, reaching, reaching long. Imagine you have that magic wand in your right hand and eventually root that right hand down to shin, to block, to floor. And spin your heart upward, skyward, with breath, with intention, with the help of the rooting of the legs. Take a few more breaths. How can you make this pose even more authentic, even fuller for you, even if it means backing off? <sighs> and gently bend the right knee a little bit to rise. And let's turn the toes out and find your five-pointed star. So toes are reaching, fingertips reaching. Reach the fingertips high to the sky. Crown of head is reaching, tail is reaching. Feel your star shape. Open up, expand, blossom, bloom, all sides of you. Breath in. And then gather at the heart and come into horse, bending the knees, drawing the hands to heart. Breath out. Inhale, star. Breath in, look up, expand. Exhale, horse, root, return, look down. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star, and exhale, we'll land in horse for just a couple of breaths and press the palms together in front of your heart and sink through your hips and open the inner knees, open those inner thighs, come into the strength of your belly. 
and really plug your mula bandha, the deep uh, core connection right down at your pelvis, lifting your perineum, feeling the strength here, feeling strong rootedness everywhere. Two more breaths. Maybe sink a little deeper on that last breath. And then starburst out, big breath in. Turn to face the front of your mat. Bend the right knee, let's fly into a standing split. Lift the left leg high to the sky, bow your head down heavy. Take two breaths. And step your left foot to meet your right. And sink into your Utkatasana, bend your knees, drop your hips, flow your arms high. Sink through the hips and heels. Right hand comes to left wrist, side bend. And left hand comes to right wrist, side bend. And come back to center, deep in your hips and lift your heart. Look up, big breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Reach out to flat back, lift and lengthen. Find your way to downward facing dog, your way. Maybe through the whole vinyasa, maybe heading straight back there. Launch the left leg high to the sky and step forward, warrior one. Left foot steps, right foot spins, arms flow on up, land the pose, root, and then reach your arms back behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, broaden the chest, rise through the heart as you sink through the hips. <sighs> How can you make this pose yours even more? <sighs> One last breath like this, and then let's bury our head in the sand for ostrich pose, head roots, arms rise, legs stay firm and steady. <sighs> breath also anchoring you, as well as expanding you. Hmm. A few more breaths, reaching your arms forward toward the front of the room. And let's rise. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, straightening out your left leg. If it's right for you, wrap your right arm around your back in a half bind. Hinge your hips toward the back of the room, the back of your mat, and reach in opposition with the left fingertips. Reach, reach, reach into triangle pose, trikonasana. Heart opens and expands. Legs stay rooted and firm. Express yourself, open yourself up. <sighs> Any way you like. Hmm. And then let's go ahead and rise. Bend the left knee to get yourself there and find your way into that star pose. So turn your toes out and reach your arms on up in a big wide V. And really feel your expansion through your belly as well as your back. And just own the openness of this pose. <sighs> How can you let go a little more? Open, open, open. Big breath in. Exhale, gather it in horse. Inhale, expand, open. Exhale, gather back in horse. Inhale, open, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, reach open. This time, draw the hands to the hips and turn the toes in and the heels out. And hinge at your hips and fold and bow. Elbows draw back behind you, ideally. Head bows. Hands make their way to the floor. And again, plug in, root in the head, down to the earth. Maybe it touches the floor. Maybe it floats. Maybe you need a block under that head. Ah, plug in, root. What is rising here? What is able to bloom open? Maybe the back of your heart. Could you bloom open the back of your heart? And let's spread our angel wings wide. Reach the arms out wide and maybe even float them a little bit, fluff them out. While the head is bowing, while the hips are rising. Mm. One last breath. Come to your flat back. 
and turn to face the front of your mat and walk your right foot over to the left and come into your pigeon pose. So sink through your hips and lift your heart high. Mm. Bloom your heart and really feel your rootedness through those sitting bones. As you walk your hands back, you'll be able to really root into the hips as well as rise through the heart. So take that moment to do so and then go ahead and surrender and return back to plugging back in to the earth and ah, letting go. So there's really a release in as you root. There's also an active release. There's an active rooting. So feel the two qualities of really reaching into the earth, a total letting go, or a more, um, and or a more conscious rooting and active rooting. So see what feels good, what works for you. Collapse is absolutely on the table these days. So let that be a possibility for you. Just a few more breaths here in the pigeon pose. Finding your breath in it. And we'll release on out of it, finding your three-legged dog. Get a little kick out with that right leg. Bend your knee, roll your hip open. If it serves you, flip your dog and lift your heart. Lift your belly, lift your fingertips. Maybe your right arm extends in opposition to your knees or take a half bind around the back to really bloom the heart high, to let the throat go. Ah, oh, surrender in your rising. Take one more breath. And we'll flow it back, downward facing dog. Just walk it around a little bit. Make some sound, shake out your head. Ah. Oh. And pigeon for the second side. So left foot comes to right wrist. And take your time before collapsing. Feel yourself purposely rooting through the legs through the pelvis, maybe even through these fingertips, rooting down through the fingers and notice how that helps you rise through the heart. Blocks might be helpful, handy, any supports you need. Hmm. Feel your freedom. Hmm. Fold. Return. Release. Surrender. Be purposeful in your rooting and also allow for there to be collapse. Sometimes that's needed. Receiving the benefits of this shape, of this practice. Last two breaths. And let's find our way. The re legged dog, lifting the left leg high to the sky. Give it a little shake out. And then bend the knee and roll your hip open. You might stay here or you might flip your dog. Both feet to the floor. Hips rise, belly rises, heart rises, fingertips rise. Ah, open this up in your way. Express yourself. Ah, how do you open your heart? Hmm. Take another breath, feel the fullness of the pose. Make it yours. And then downward facing dog, bending your knees and finding your way to lying on your back. Any way you need to get there. And just take a rest, do what you need to do. Maybe it's spread out like a big star, maybe it's hugging in. Ah, maybe windshield wipering legs side to side. So you decide, just taking a few integrative moments here. Hmm. Feeling the earth beneath you. And let's all meet with feet to the floor and windshield wipering the legs side to side, the knees bent, windshield wipering side to side. Ah. And then hug your knees in, root even further through that spine, 
planting the seeds of your spine down into the earth, tucking your chin a little bit, wiggling around, ah, circling your knees with your hands guiding that circle. Reconnecting to breath if you lost that connection. Ah. And then we'll um, keep the left knee hugged in and extend the right leg on out. And just really take a moment to point and flex that right foot and reach out through the front of your thigh on point and through the back body, the back hip, the back lower back and back heel on the flex. So just take a couple rounds like that. Left knee is hugging in. Mm, maybe you can circle your ankle and notice how the ankle and foot are connected up to the hip. And then we'll twist across. Left knee crosses over. Left arm extends. Mm, twist your belly toward the left. Twist your ribs toward the left. Turn your heart toward the left. Turn your gaze toward the left as the left knee moves toward the right. Ah, ringing yourself out. Hmm. Two more breaths. And then come back to center, bringing both feet to the floor. In between our twists, we'll take a bridge. So feet to the floor and hips lift high. And if you, you know, if you only come just a little bit off the floor, that's fine. If you're able to lift your hips way up, that's, that's fine as well. If you'd like to clasp your hands underneath you or take the sides of your mat, go for it. Also, if you want to make this more restorative and Place a block under your hips, also an option. But open your heart any way you see fit. Maybe it's not actually physically, but more in a state right now of, of tenderness and an energetic opening. Breathe into the belly, <clears throat> and breathe into the hips, and breathe into the thighs. Feel the fullness of the moment for you, whatever it feels like. And gently return down. And windshield wiper those legs. <clears throat> and hug the knees in and take a circle. Guiding with your hands, circling in both directions. And keep the right knee hugged in and extend the left leg long. And again, find your point and your flex through the left foot and notice, can you feel connection higher in your body, particularly your hip or your low back or your belly? Just see what you notice. You can explore and have fun. So all this rooting and rising can really rise up some joy through the body, unstick energy. So notice what you're feeling right now. Has this practice shifted things for you a little bit? And then let's take a twist. Right knee crosses over the midline and right arm extends out in opposition and really ring yourself out. Just take the time to notice the different parts of you, particularly through the central channel of your body through this turning around your central axis. And like a flagpole, that left leg is an anchor, it's a root. So you can really twist and open more deeply as you root through the left leg and reach through the crown of the head and open through your right palm. Take another two breaths. And let's return and release and come back through center and windshield wiper legs side to side. One more bridge pose. So if you wanted to make it more restorative, you could grab a block or something, a pillow or a support and place it under your hips and or lift through those hips and engage 
a little more fully. Maybe you want to come a little way up. That's also a great option. So see what's possible and, and pleasant for you. And with this theme of rooting and rising and expanding, what does this pose? What does this pose for you in that, in that theme? Or your own, uh, whatever your own intention was, whether it was very different from what I'm offering. Breathe into your, breathe into your body, your intention. Embody your intention. Mm. Last breath. Ah, sink back down. We'll take about a minute for an inversion. I am offering just legs lifting up to the sky with a block under the hips. Viparita Karani. You might choose a different inversion. Make sure you feel safe and capable in a shoulder stand or a headstand or even a handstand. But we'll spend about a minute here. And we're rooting and rising in a different way. Hmm. This is a wonderful pose, the inversion to let things really filter back down in an opposite direction. So turn your world upside down and refresh. Just quietly breathing. After all that movement, really enjoying a bit more stillness. Even though there may be effort in inverting. It's important to connect in with stillness every day. Emptying your plate. We'll take about two more breaths here. If you're in a shoulder stand, you could drop your knees by your forehead or your ears, and roll your way down very gently and smoothly. Hugging knees into chest, placing feet to floor, ah, coming out of the pose. And we're going to find our way to Shavasana. So if you're ready, just go ahead and land yourself there. Uh, one more offering from me is to walk your legs together over to the left and your arms also over to the left. So you're making a crescent moon or a banana shape to your body and just side stretch. Taking just a couple breaths releasing any pent up energy that remains. And when you're ready, walking on over to the other side, legs to the right, arms to the right. Mm. And in your own timing, coming back through center for Shavasana, the final relaxation, the corpse pose. The final rooting down. So really setting yourself up to feel like you could nestle into the earth for a long time. And if you want to stay here for quite some time, I very much encourage that. We'll stay here for a couple minutes. If there are any supports that you'd like for this pose, like blocks under your knees or a blanket over your body, if those things are easy and accessible, go for it. Take a big exhale down, back into the earth. And just settle in to be 
to be still, to receive the benefits of this practice. to fully let go. Now again, if you want to stay a little bit longer, please do. But if you're ready, begin to expand your inhale a bit more. And that sense of blooming and opening and rising, allowing there to be little movements tender openings through fingers and toes and head rolling gently side to side, uh, loosening your jaw, touching in somewhere to your body that feels like it needs a little bit of reminder of touch to let go, to integrate back into the space here. As we roll to our sides, pausing there on your side and just give yourself a big hug and fill up your love cup, however full you can right now. If there's something to let go of, turn your forehead down to the floor and just whisper the words out or shout them out. You might be alone. Hmm. Or breathe out or see the image releasing, melting back into the earth. Whatever it is, let it go and move on, rising on up. We're turning back to seated. And feel yourself in this more vertical plane, reconnecting as we started, rooting. Letting the pelvis circle just a little bit. Rooting, movement. And allow that to bubble some energy up through your centers of energy, belly, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, crown, hands to third eye, <clears throat> pausing there, touching into your lightness and sending that lightness down back into the earth and shooting back up again and just allowing that rooting and rising to happen throughout your day. I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me.